And here is Alpha Bravo opened up into his rather awesome source helicopter mode. Ready to kick some ass. I really like this. Um, he's able to spin nice and freely. Um, they're molded in so it doesn't spin round, but he's he's great. He's all armoured up at the moment. Got several ports all open for weapons and things. Um, the most useful foot stroke hand storage. Um, if you're going to store it in vehicle mode, which is just a port on the bottom there. There's his foot stroke hand, which is some pair of Gatling guns. Um, and his thumb there. The thing I've noticed, and the top is completely different on each of these, which is quite good. But the thing I've noticed about these foot stroke hands is that, as you can see there, is the fingers are really loose. Um, which is quite annoying, to be honest. But... Uh, I don't know if it's a QEC issue or whether everyone else has had that problem. Let me know in the comments below. But there you go. We'll take his gun off as well. His bot gun. Which is some kind of sniper rifle-y type thing with huge bullets on the side. Very good. But as with all the new Hasbro stuff, it's hollow in between. Although it has got some moulding that car carries on through with a completely different look on the bottom there. Which is good. Whereas on this side it's bullets. So it's been designed that way. It's not too bad. I mean, they're saving on plastic by not filling this in. But at least on this particular gun, they've had the uh, wherewithal to give it some detail in each side. So I do appreciate that. On to his copter mode, which is brilliant. He's got the best way of hiding hands out of all of them, if you, if you, in my humble opinion. Because he's got missiles moulded into his hands. So from the side and the top and everything, you can't really see they are. From the bottom, you can. But then you're not really going to be displaying him that way up are you um slightly less obvious of robot kibble obviously his head's there and his arms are there but his legs are all hidden inside the thing here um lovely little silver auto chromey autobot symbol right there absolutely gorgeous and as you can see lots of lovely details got molded in windows anyone with uh, a bit of a dry brush can pick these out it's basically a passenger helicopter he looks great it's got a lovely Autobot logo down there as well, but that's obviously more for, for bot mode. I don't know about you, it looks like with Wave 3 being previewed on some sites, as you might see, um, they're going to be using the same moulds over and over and over again. So this, to me, looks a bit like, suspiciously like, it could be retooled as a spaceship front with a slightly different body or remoulded body. Maybe just a big, big ass tail fin at the back. What do you think? Yes, yes, exactly. Um, but yeah, he's brilliant. I, I love, I just love this guy. He's so much fun. His transformation is brilliant, which I'm not going to show on screen. And his bot mode is my favourite as well. But we'll do some size comparisons very, very quickly. I've got many helicopter bots with me, but um, here he is with his wave mates. So uh, as you can see, a lot. Same amount of plastic, but you know, it's hard to compare because they're just different vehicles altogether. They're about the same kind of size overall, um, because obviously they want to be limbs for each other and they're interchangeable arms and legs and all the rest, so they're designed to be that way. But you know, they all look good together. I know people want wanted a fourth aerial bot or a fourth plane limb. I kind of like one being a helicopter, I really do. Um, and I think he's obviously going to get repainted for um, Defensor when he comes out later on. Um, I've got the original G1 of Defensor's helicopter, so that'll be a good little comparison video. But yeah, he's lovely. I like him a lot. Let's get him transformed, shall we? And here is Combiner Wars Alpha Bravo in his robot mode. And I don't know what it is about this guy, but he is just wonderful. And it's weird because he's probably the most kibbly of all the bots, and I'm not into kibble, but I just... I love helicopter modes. I like kind of crazy ass spaceships and things. I, I don't know. It's just he speaks to me. He's got like a proper cool head sculpt. He can he can carry his um, weapon come hand come foot, but you know why would you want to do that? His gun looks good in his hands. Uh, a bit flamethrowery, and he's got his arm missiles, so you can have him pointing his arm missiles at you and pew pew. And he's lovely. I just oh, they get rid of his. Uh, I think it's because he's got a sniper rifle as well, and I'm into snipers. If I'm going to pick a, uh, you know, 
a method of madness. But he's really cool. Head sculpt wise. No, I mean look at him, he's like proper G1 headmastery old school loveliness. I don't know what it is, but I just love that head sculpt. It's brilliant. Um his port looks a little bit obvious, uh, which is a shame. But again, lots of de extra details on this. So if you if you you know go with a sharpie or with a you know with uh, paint washes or anything like that, I haven't got the skills personally. But you could pick that out and make him look pretty pretty damn badass. I think. Love the Autobot signal on the back. Not too cubby on the back. I mean, you can have these uh, rotors however you like. For some reason, I don't know why, but the rotors go up like this, and there's no real reason for it. Uh, it doesn't really make the transformation any easier or less, but I suppose you could put the blades like that if you were so way inclined. I don't, I don't know. Uh, official method is um, sticking them up here like that, and I just tuck them in like that. Also, his tail rotor, if you want to call it that, um, does spin. Um, you can have it facing forwards if you want to kind of hide it. The official mode's like that. You can have it facing backwards, however you want. I kind of like it like that. Um, on the back, it's not, you know, it's a bit more hollow, so I kind of like facing it like that. Um, I think it really suits him. Articulation wise, exactly the same as all the others. He's got a ball joint up in there, so he's got the full 360, X's twist, all that kind of stuff. Um, he's got bicep swivels, he's got a lovely clicky, lovely clicky arm joint, which was sadly missing on one of the other bots. Um, hip joints, up, down, left, right, in, out. Uh, he's got a waist swivel, which is part of the transformation, but it's still there. 90 degree knees. Uh, Nothing at the foot, really. I suppose you could count that if you wanted. Um, and the feet are moulded into that classic A stance, which a lot of the bots these days tend to be. For size comparison, put him to one side. Here, here he is with his wave mates. If I put him in the middle, there he is with his wave mates. And as you can see, they look great together, all of them. I think that looks great. Uh, yes, I know controversy is a helicopter, but. I just think it breaks it up having a nice helicopter. If I have them as an arm and then you can have the, the rotor blade stuck up like that or you can have them sticking out and have it like a weapon that spins around on his shoulder which I kind of like. I'm not going to show you the limb modes of any of these guys for these reviews. I'm going to wait until the Wave 2 comes comes out through my door and we'll do a How to Build Superion because I haven't um, bought Drag Strip because I just refuse to have a Decepticon um, and an Autobot mixed together. I'm kind of OCD like that. For other size comparisons, here he is with the big boss. And he seems a bit more in scale compared to the uh, plain bots. He looks alright. And the fact that his head can look right up is always a bonus. He's got a lovely motion on his head. He's got the most movement on his head of any of the uh, aerial bots, in fact. If you move your bot fans, there he is with a Dinobot. Whoop, stand him up so they're about there. So as you can see, they're starting to grow. They're starting to grow back again, which is good. Although they're, ma they're making cuts by making the inside of the arms hollow and things. But at least they got moulded in little pistons and things. Can you see that? So that's actually nice that it just being a completely hollow arm. But there he is with the movie bot. Um, we've showed you Starscream as a legion. So we'll have him stood there because there's going to be a lot of legions in with Wave 2. Um, so that's kind of the same size as most legions these days. Just to give you an idea what they'll look like together on the shelf. And of course we've got... Blackjack right there, our MicroMaster buddy who appears on all my reviews just for a bit of a larve. So overall, what do I think of this guy? He is brilliant. I've, he's my favourite of the Cabana Wars Wave 1, bar none. Um, <laughs> I can't say enough things, good things about him that a lot of reviewers haven't said already. He's lovely, he's chunky, he's got lovely clicky joints, or so clicky, clicky, lovely. He's a helicopter, so he's a bit more interesting than just, you know, a car or just a standard plane or something. I like him. He's really posable. He's, he's got loads of head movements. You can get him to crazy-ass poses, um, which, okay, I'm failing a little bit here, but, you know, you get the idea. Lovely paint job. Um, looks like he's going to be remoulded about twice or three times by the, by the looks of things, uh, given the clues at the bottom here and uh, the fact that we've got Defensor coming very soon. So I'd get used to him if I were you. But until then, I have been Moobit. You can follow me, if you like, on these uh, 
social media things on the bottom right there or and you can also find me on the transformers youtube community over on facebook until next time do subscribe i've got a full range of these guys coming out and several transformers videos as well as uh, geek culture and gaming and vlogs and things like that hopefully liking the new video style hopefully like the new set on the bits that i'm standing in front of it um do let me know below what you think i do value your feedback uh, make it constructive and i'll see what i can do while i'm still getting used to this whole new setup and hopefully i'll see you in the next review ta -ra! I like to move it, move it, move it.